where there's a shared asset and they say two or more people own an asset, it could be whatever, um, is, how is the zakat calculated on that? And is it due by all of them or one of them? How, does yeah. it, how do you work that out? Okay. Yes. Now, the shared assets, let us say a house, yeah? You own 30% uh, of that house. Then the zakat on you, okay, this is, sorry, if it is saleable, if this is for business. But if it is your house that you are living in, then it is not zakatable. Yeah, we, we explain this. But if it is something that you are selling, for, for example, three people, five people bought this house in order to sell it, and you own 30%, so this is business. So your zakat is on your 30%. I hope that answers the question. So that means yeah. Sheikh, uh, some of the Islamic banks okay. actually pay zakat on um, the home purchase products. Oh yeah, maybe. Different yeah. question. Of course. Uh, the other day there was a, there were actually two brothers. They were doing business online. Yeah, and see, b online business they don't have assets but they have like a capital. So I said to them, listen, brothers, sisters, carefully. Initially, you had, uh, let us say, 65,000 pounds investment. One of you put 25 and the other one put 50. Yes? No, it's not yes. Because we said, 65, one put 25, and the other one, we put 40, not 50. Okay, but I'm just checking whether the brothers are awake or not. Okay, so one of them has 25. Now this money, the 65,000 pounds, they sometimes buy commodities, yeah? And sometimes they uh, liquidate that. So what is your zakatable is the 65,000 pounds. Now, when the zakat is due, then check this 65,000 pounds now. How much is it now? Okay, your business grew. And because that growth is an extension of zakatable money, so now that growth is also zakatable based on the howl of the original investment. So you don't need, be careful brothers, when we said you need to calculate howl a lunar year for each amount of money that you, re you receive, this is not in the case of business. Business, any amount you receive, okay, is uh, zakatable within the, it is actually, make it simple, it is an extension of the original investment. So when the zakat is due on the original investment, it is also due on any extension, any growth of that initial investment. I hope that it is clear. So the person who has a 25,000, whenever his daka is due, is due, he should give on the 25% and his partner is, is up to him. Okay, yeah, he should be giving his daka, of course.